Hi everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. In this video today, I'm gonna to show you five steps on how to fix your Amazon Fire Stick remote not pairing or not connecting, coming up next on Your Six Studios. For step one, we are gonna to need to do a complete power cycle for our Amazon Fire Stick remote. And this is as easy as taking out the batteries of your remote and putting them back in. And this is most commonly the issue for me whenever I cannot connect to my TV with my Fire Stick remote. I just take out the batteries and I put them back in. And most commonly, I'm able to control my Fire Stick once again. So go ahead and try this method out and see if it works for you. And step number two is power cycling your Amazon Fire Stick itself. So go over to your TV and unplug it from the wall or unplug the power from the Amazon Fire Stick itself. So once you unplug it from the wall, wait about 30 seconds and then replug it back into its power source. The Amazon Fire Stick should go through a series of rebooting and it will appear back on your TV. Take your remote and go ahead and try to control it once again and see if it works. If it doesn't, go to step number three. Step three is to download the My Fire TV application on your Android smartphone. What you need to do is go to the Google Play Store and type in My Fire TV. And it should look like this. Once this pops up, go ahead and press install and open. You will need to have your phone connected to the Wi-Fi on your home network to be able to find your Amazon Fire Stick. Once you open up the application, it's gonna start searching for your Fire Stick. Go ahead and select it once it appears. And it's gonna ask you for a four digit pin number. And this is gonna pop up on your Fire TV Stick and it's gonna display a number. Once that number is entered in on your phone, you should be able to connect and control your Android phone using the My Fire TV app to go through your different applications, to swipe through the different menus, anything that you can do on your standard remote, you'll be able to do on your phone. You will also have access to voice functions and the ability to type with the keyboard on your phone. So it might be a little bit more convenient and quicker for you if you do not have your remote by you. And that's a good option to get around your Android Fire Stick remote not working at the moment until you can get a new one. Now let's pair a new remote on your Amazon Fire Stick. Scroll over to settings, go down and scroll over to controllers and Bluetooth devices. Select that. Now go to Amazon Fire TV remotes. Now let's scroll down to add new remote. And it will start searching for your new remote. Now on your new remote, hold down the home button for 10 seconds. Once it's discovered, it will appear on this list. If you do not have any devices connected on your new remote, hold down the home button for 10 seconds and do this multiple times until your remote is discovered. Go on to Amazon.com and buy a new remote. Now, some of the remotes that are third-party remotes cost about 10 to 15 to $20, depending on how many features they have. And I haven't used any of the third-party remotes. However, I would read the reviews and descriptions on those. But I do have the Fire 4K remote, and I know how this one works. It has the power button, the voice function, the volume buttons on them. And I really do like this remote and having the power and the volume button on there does make a difference for me and it's very convenient. However, the bad thing about buying this remote separately is it costs $30 where the Amazon Fire 4K is $50 by itself. So there's a $20 difference and you can actually upgrade to the Amazon Fire 4K if you haven't. And I do recommend the Amazon Fire Stick 4K. The menus are quick, everything is responsive. And the fifth step would be to look into your TV app. I have a Samsung TV and I have something called AnyNet Plus that comes along with my TV. And this allows me to go to my source options and scroll down to my Fire Stick and I'm able to select it as a source and I am then able to control it with my TV remote. And I use it just like I would with my Fire Stick remote. I'm able to go through the different menus, select anything, the only thing I won't have is the voice options and some of the buttons will be remapped differently to my remote on my TV. And this is on Samsung TVs, any net pluses. However, look into your TV options. You might have something similar that you just don't know about. So if this video helped you out, go ahead and give it a thumbs up 
and subscribe to my channel down below. And check out some of the other videos coming up next on Your Six Studios.